Okay, you guys, this is Poopoo -Poo Irwin, and I'm going to do a little, uh, my thoughts on the EA MMA patch. The reason for making this video is to better the game and to keep the game as good as it can possibly be, and to keep it as balanced as it can possibly be, because as, uh, Preston said himself in the post about regarding this patch that they want to make the most balanced game possible. Okay, so with that said, uh, next I'm going to be showing some um, examples um, from fights and explaining kind of what how I feel about um, the game now after this patch. But first, I want to talk about the pros and cons. Well, I mean, what the pros and cons are for the stand-up and the ground game after this patch. For the stand-up, the pros of what they did was they pretty much eliminated spamming. Uh, you, it's, you can't really spam at all. And uh, also, what they did is they um, made it a slower pace. It's not as fast. You can't just go in there and, uh, you know, swing like crazy. But on the con side, um, the major con I have with the stand-up is the blocking. The ability to just sit there and block. It doesn't really... I don't understand really why exactly they did this. I do... They wanted to get away from the parrying, but... It's kind of weird now because in the stand-up you can just sit there and block... And it kind of makes it like kind of a stalemate in the stand-up a lot because you can't really damage the guy that much when he's blocking. And the other thing that it did, the other con in the stand-up, is they kind of made the stamina recovery stat, which was actually really important before this. They kind of made it less important and less useful altogether. Like you could really tell the difference between like a boxer and a brawler. The boxers would get their stamina back a lot faster, but now both, I mean, it, the stamina goes up so fast now that it's, it doesn't really matter what your stamina recovery is, as long as it's decently high, you know, it's, it's you're going to be fine. Overall, the stand-up is good. Um, what they did, I like it, how, um, overall it's good. Uh, the blocking is my main uh, concern about that. Ground game. The ground game is the major problem with this uh, with this patch. The major con is that it takes away the balance that it had before. Before the ground game was really balanced, just completely balanced in my opinion. Now the advantage highly goes to the person on top, especially if you're in postured up mount. There's almost absolutely no way at all for the person on bottom to get out or defend himself at all. And you can say that they can sit there and block, but that's not that's not defending, and that's not getting out, and that's it's not doing anything. If you're sitting there blocking and mount, that's not doing anything. So I don't understand how how that that it doesn't matter. If the blocks are able to block the strikes more, it it just you know what are you just gonna sit there for you know ten minutes? Or if the Valley Tudo fight, what you're gonna block for twenty minutes? It's, it's ridiculous. But um, and if you punch them from mount. You know, you then then your your head is gone because they'll just hook you to the head and it'll be gone. Um, yeah, so pretty much the mount is unstoppable. Well, just in general, the person on top has a huge advantage. They can sit there, and the person on the bottom has a lot less options than they did before. Before there, you know, the person on bottom, it wasn't like they were screwed. You know, they had a lot of options. They could kick you off. They could transition. They could try to major transition. They could punch you. They could knee you they could try to get your stamina down now it, it's it's pretty much impossible for the person on bottom to get the top player's stamina down i mean realistically it, their stamina goes up so fast it's like impossible and uh yeah that's pretty much it there's just no options from the bottom um uh, yeah and it's just you can just literally you can just hold someone in a place and punch their head and and be you know and have an actual chance of winning by doing that and you should i don't i don't think that's the way it is pretty much all in all, they took a, they took the ground game, which was extremely balanced when the game first came out, and they made it a lot less balanced. Okay, and now as I'm going to show you examples from gameplay and tell you what's happening. 
All right, now I got this next fight up here. It's starting off right now. And as you can see, this is a red belt guy. Uh, he obviously has, uh, he knows how to play. Uh, and what I'm able to do here is I just get him in sprawl. And from here, I, you can just hold someone here. And if you're able to do a little bit of damage to that head, they're not able to get that damage back. So you can just sit here, like I do, and you can just hit, keep hitting their head. You know, and, and if he's, see, he's trying to get out, he's trying to punch me back, but my stamina never gets down because I'm able to recover so fast. The, the stamina recovers so fast. See, like, even if he hits me in the body, it, I, it doesn't even matter. I can just keep taking him and punching him in the head because my stamina will go right back up so fast. And every time he's trying to transition... I'm getting my stamina back all the way, and his isn't coming back. So as you, I just keep denying and punching him in the head. That's all I'm doing here. And then look, and then I knock him out there. That 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 is not that's not balance. That's not balance right there. Okay, I'll go to the next example. Okay, in this example, um, I was just fighting a guy in the stand up, and what happens is I I end up getting his head relatively low in the stand up, and it's the same as the last example. I rock him there, get his head low, he shoots in to try to recover his head health, and then right now he, he doesn't have any options now. He has no options. His head's low, and he has no options. He, he can't do anything to get his head back up, because if he blocks, it's just going to stay still. If he transitions, he's going to get denied. He's got no options here. It's just completely unbalanced. And you see, I, I pound him out and beat him from sprawl. And that's just another example. The same thing. We'll go to the next one. And um, going up against the guy, I take him down there to side control. And it, this, is, this is another good example. I start hitting him. He's parrying the shots. But as you can see, I get his head low. And at this point, now he, his options start to go away. His head is low. Um, I'm pounding on his body and head. So if he parries one side, he has no options here. This is when his options start to run out. I'm hitting his head. He has no options to get back up. Because if, if he strikes me, if he starts striking me, then I'm going to strike him in the head. And his head's, and he's going to get knocked out. So he's trying to par he's trying to move and all this. Again, it's not doing anything. This, this is an example of another. It's the same exact thing. It's the unbalanced uh, ground game. And as you can see, I, uh, I just keep pounding on him here. And it gets to a point where he starts parrying the headshots, so he starts parrying, so I get mount. And at this point, when you get mount, this is an example. There, there, he has no option. He, he, there's no escape at this point. He can't do anything. He can't block. He, he's done. He's done. So there's that example. And in this example, it shows what happens when um, you you get mount on someone who tries to just sit there and block. This, this is this is what happens. You know, he, he's sitting there, he's blocking, you know, and, and he's preventing my strikes from doing anything. But but this isn't going to go anywhere. Because eventually, see, he'll parry and he'll just get knocked out. So, there, there's that. that. That's what happens when you try to block and mount. Uh, we'll go to the next example. As you can see, I was actually losing this fight. Uh, I've been knocked down, like, multiple times. The only thing I'm able to do in order to win is I land one kick... From it, which rocks the stamina all the way down, and I'm able to slam him and mount him. And um, as you can see there, I, uh, I I get his stamina down. I clinch him here, take him down. His head really isn't hurt yet. So, but at this point, he, he has no options. He can sit there and block. See, he tries to punch me, and he gets punched. So that's not an option to try to punch the person from bottom. Even if he gives up his back here, he doesn't have any options here at all. He can sit there and block like he's doing, but but it's it look, it's not going to do anything. He, there's no, he's not actually bettering his position if he sits there and 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 you know blocks. It doesn't do anything. That's the problem. There's no um, there's no options. There's no options to your head health back up and recover. You're pretty much done here, and you just can't do anything. It's just not balanced like it was before. And we'll go to the next one. And here, um, I was actually losing this fight too, and I managed to get to uh, half guard. And as you can see, his head is already half, 
and he and this is where he begins to run out of options. His stamina is getting low, and his head's low. He has very few options here, and this is the problem with the ground game: is that you just have no options. It doesn't matter how good you are on the ground; it's just that there's you don't have anything to do. And as you can see, I keep punching him in the head here, and he's blocking it. But the problem is is that even when he's blocking it, it's not actually going up, it's staying down. And my stamina, on the other hand, it, it might go down a little, but it shoots right back up. And it's not like I'm losing anything. And if he ever goes for a transition, I'll get all my stamina back instantly. And as you can see here, he, he can block for a while, but see, right when he throws those knees and tries to strike me, his head goes down. So striking from the bottom really isn't a real realistic option because you're just gonna especially if your head's already low um because it's your your head just gonna get even lower and as you can see here i get his stamina down or his torso which pretty much means nothing but i just keep switching back and forth head body and eventually i'm gonna get one of them through you know it's just i mean obviously you can't parry every single strike so either Either the, his stamina is going to go down or his head's going to go down. And he's got no... And this isn't like a new player. This isn't like a noob. This is a, you know, this is a guy who knows how to play. It's just that he... It's just that th there, there's nothing you can do. So, you know, and then eventually I get his stamina down and get the mount. And it shoots all of his stamina back up. But at this point when I get mount, now, now the fight's over. Because here is when he really has no options at all. And, and, you know, he's doing a good job parrying, but, he's, he, you know, he got, he got all those successful parries, but his head didn't go up at all. So, it's just another example of the mount is just way too strong now. The ground game in general is just too, um, too overpowered on top. It, they actually made the, the ground game um, unbalanced. Uh, they made it less balanced, I should say, than it was before. And now I have to agree that the, the stand-up uh, is fine. They, they, they took the stand-up as it was um, and they made it more balanced. The ground game, I think they actually did the opposite. I think they actually made it less balanced. It's a lot easier to control people and beat them just by just holding them there and punching them because you just can't do anything from the bottom. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope that they do something about the ground game because it is not balanced. And that is what they're going for because that's what they said in the post. They said that they want the most balanced game possible. And right now, the, the way the ground game exists, it definitely is not balanced. It gives a lot more advantage to the person on top. No question about it. So... I really hope that they tweak the head recovery rate and somehow give more of an advantage to the person on the bottom and give them more options because the way it sits now, they just don't have enough options on the bottom. But that's my video and uh, I, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.